that we showed you is hopefully just the beginning of getting more weapons off the streets. That's right. The uh, next chance is going to be a voluntary one. There is going to be a reward. It's through a gun buyback program hosted by the Attorney General and the City of Syracuse. News Channel Line's Iris St. Moran is with us now. Iris, um, a lot of speculation as to how effective these gun buyback programs are. What are, what are the leaders saying that you talk to, including the, the Attorney General herself? Well, Jeff and Christy, the leaders say that this a program like this is very effective, in, even if it means just getting one gun off the street. And it isn't the answer to everything, but uh, Attorney General Letitia James says that more than a thousand guns have been surrendered so far in buyback programs across the state, and there are incentives. You can get cash or an iPad. Another component is no questions are asked and the guns are not traced. The Attorney General says in the future she would like to offer more people, offer more to people who are turning guns in. We've got to take a, a gun out of the hand of an individual and you have to, again, um, provide it with something in return um, and something that addresses their felt needs. And if their felt needs, again, are housing, et cetera, or employment, we should be able to do that. She said uh, that's something that she is focused on. The Syracuse gun buyback program will take place July 24 from 10 to 2 at St. Lucie's Food Pantry on Gifford Street. The mayor says the last community gun buyback program in Syracuse was held in 2009. Jeff and Christie.